learnb4a.com. That's Learn Basic for Android. And today we're going to learn how to install Basic for Android and all of the other software that you're going to need to make that work. So first things first, we're going to start by downloading the Android SDK. And this program is essential. It contains a huge amount of information that you are going to need. Start by doing a search for Download Android SDK or just follow the link on the Learn B4A website. You'll get to this page. And what we're going to do is scroll down here and go to Download for Other Platforms. And here you want to either choose 32-bit or 64-bit. If you're on a Windows machine, if you're on anything else, just look for what your machine has and download the right one. All right. And once you've done that, go to where you have you have it located in your files. I have a, a library built for this. Um, and open up your SDK and you're going to find the SDK manager. Go ahead and open that up. And as soon as that comes up, you will see that we have downloaded a whole bunch of stuff. The, what you need to download is you need to download tools and you need to download the, the latest version of Android. Okay, uh, which uh, as of the making of this video is 4.2.2 and the only thing that you really need in here is the SDK platform and the arm. Everything else you can uncheck. Just going to slow down and make it slow for downloading everything you need and we're going to close everything else here. Let's make it a little neater for us to look at. Under extras you can see that I've got all of these installed, but all you really need to install is a support library, the USB driver, Google USB driver, and the Intel 86 emulator. Okay, uh, so that's all you need to do. Go ahead, uh, install that, and once once you've got that installed, we can move on. So go ahead and pause the video, do that, and then come back to the video. So once your SDK is up and running, we need to go over here and download Java. Now what you're looking for is you're looking for the Java SE Development Kit 7U21, at least as of the recording of this video. The link here will be available on the website so you can go directly to it or you can just search for uh, Java SE Development Kit or Java JDK and pick up the, the latest one. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look down this list you want to accept the license, obviously, and then you want to pick which one you want to download. Now, even if you have a 64-bit Windows machine like I do, uh, you want to download the x86 version. So just go ahead and download the this link here. And once you've downloaded it, go ahead and install it. And come back to the video. We'll move on to the next step. All right. Well, the next step is to download the basic for Android or B4A, as we like to refer to it, uh, software. You can download the, the free trial version here if, if you want to just try it out. Um, or you can uh, go over here to the purchase tab and, and download the license that's right for you. Getting free updates for you know two-year period is a great deal. 99 bucks, can't beat it. You know, Do what you want to do. We'll start by go ahead and downloading the free version. And since I've already got it on my machine, I'm not going to download it again. But uh, go ahead and download it and then run the EXE as soon as it's up and running and then come back to the video. Alright, so at this point you should have Basic for Android loaded and this should be what you're looking at right here. Uh, this is how every Basic for Android program starts is it uh, it sets up some some of the stuff that you'll need uh, but what we need to do is we need to finish the installation of this and so we need to go into tools, go down to configure paths 
and there are three files, well there's two files that you've already downloaded uh, that you need to go and find and link. You can do it by browsing, but if you put if you put the files under the in the normal place under program files, then you're gonna be looking in the Java file, JDK, and this this is 1.6, but we're we're actually on 1.7, so it'll say 1.7 and then into the bin, and you're looking for this file, the javac.exe. And as soon as you find that, uh, just go ahead and, and pull that into here and save that. Again, with the Android jar, if you download it in the standard place under Program Files, Android, uh, go go into that Android SDK Windows Platforms Android X, and you should find a file labeled jar, Android jar. So go ahead and uh, copy that and paste that in here. And and again, you can do it by just browsing right to it. Okay, that's the one that we're looking for right there. All right, and then I also recommend that you make a file under your basic for Android um, file called libraries. And once you do that, once you've created that file, go ahead and put it in here. Because as you get to, to know and use basic for Android, you'll be downloading a libraries that you can use, and, and this is a great place to put them. And once you've done that, you should be fully installed and ready to go. So time to move on to the next video and how we build our very first Android app in less than five minutes, get it up and running. We'll show you how to uh, link your phone or link an emulator in so you can actually see it run real time. Check out learnb4a.com. That's learnb4a.com. We'll continue to put up new and exciting tutorials on how to use basic for Android. Thanks for watching.